Hi everybody, in this video we're going to continue working on our home screen, but we are going to look at some best practices to apply a look and feel to your app. So let's get started. In our last video we saw how can we add all of these controls and how can we change some of their properties, uh, but then let's say there is a new requirement to change the look and feel again. We need to change the fonts, we need to change the color, so we will need to do all of this work again for each of the controls we have here. There is a better way to do that. Instead of applying the particular values to each property for these controls, we can create a new screen here that we're going to use as a template. So let's click on this section, new screen, and in this case, let's add a blank screen. This blank screen will have a different name. In this case, let's change the name to look and fill template screen. So in this screen, we are going to add some controls and we are going to apply the look and feel that we need in those specific controls. So in this case, if I go back to my home screen, I can do the following. I can select this drop-down control because I see that we are going to use a lot of drop-down controls during the implementation of this application. So I can copy control C and paste here control D. So the control has been added. This control already has some look and feel applied. By default, it has copied the name of the original control, but I'm going to change that name to drop down UI. Okay, so now when I go to my home screen, if I select this particular control and I want to change the properties, let's go to the, for example, border color. Instead of applying a particular border color, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reference the existing control. So the, remember the name of the control was dropped down UI. I can put point border color. So in that way, I can reference the specific setting applied to my original control, the drop down UI. And I can do the same for each of the property. Let's say we need to change the properties regarding the Chevron, right? So let's select Chevron background. I can write again drop down UI Chevron background. And the Chevron background has been applied. The same for the Chevron field, for example. Drop down UI. Chevron field. And I need to do the same for each of the properties. So if I preview, you will see that those values have been added successfully. Okay, let's say that now we have a requirement to change the look and feel of our application. So I just go here, I can select this particular control, and I can go to border color, and instead of that color, let's change that to this particular color. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for the other property, for example, regarding the Chevron, we can go to Chevron background and the Chevron background could be this one and the Chevron field could be, instead of that, this value. Okay, so now when I go to my home screen, that change has been immediately applied to my control. And the same is going to happen for each control. So the recommendation here will be to add one control for each of the particular controls we are going to be using in our look and feel and play screen. So I can copy, for example, again, the text input. I can paste this here. And I can do the same for the, for example, the rectangle. Remember that for each of these controls, I need to specify a name. So that could be read header UI. For the text field could be txt UI. And we can change that. For example, in this case, let's change the rectangle field. 
to use a, a different color. For example, in this case, it could be this color. So if I go back to the home screen, I can go to the field and instead of applying directly value, I can say rec hair UI field and the value has changed. If I go back and change that value again to be this one and I go back to the home screen, again that value has been changed. Okay, that was all for this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to connect our app to a SharePoint list. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends. Hope to see you again. Bye.